What's good, YouTube? It's Axel Rose, the Shogun with the slogan. If you don't know where it's been, you don't know where it's going. And we're dropping some educated speculation today as a topic. Check it out. Lords of the Fallen developer Debt13 have just entered the four game deal with Microsoft. Now, it's no secret that your boy Phil Spencer is a big fan of Bloodborne. And Debt 13 made that game that's exactly like, but not Dark Souls. So, in all likelihood, adding all elements together, we're probably gonna get a game that's exactly like, but not Bloodborne. Now, I usually leave indulging in speculation to more idiotic YouTubers, but a job listing on the developer's website exposed the title as being a quote unquote core AAA action title. Throw in the fact that the last title that they developed was actually a straight up Dark Souls ripoff, and um, yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much obvious the direction they're looking to go in. Now, should should such a game materialize, it would be so interesting to see the reaction of the, of the Xbox community, especially on YouTube. The same people that called. Bloodborne, names like Niche, pre-release. It'd be so funny to see the tides turn. I, I can see it now. Now, set your alarm clock, because it's time to keep it 100. There's an exclusive RPG like this on the Xbox platform sound like a profitable idea there's been many dope exclusives that's graced the xbox platform from last remnant lost odyssey blue dragon but they just didn't bring in those bison dollars so what would a game like bloodborne which is niche remember actually prove <laughs> Even though the thought, the theory of a westernized Bloodborne clone exclusive to the Xbox One platform sounds like a moderately cool idea. For me personally gamers, it's, it's transcending too far down the stairway of emulating the PlayStation 4 that the Xbox brand has already embarked upon. From the monthly gold free games program to day one digital to, to, to buying exclusivity on Tomb Raider just to compete with Uncharted. It all screams, I want to be PlayStation Junior. And with aligning themselves with a copycat developer whose last game just screamed, hey, look at me. I want to be Dark Souls so bad. It's just not a good look for the Xbox brand, especially with them struggling to find an identity in Japan. Now, in the West, they're known as the more casual, more mainstreamish gaming console, I guess. Well, not more mainstream in terms of sales, obviously, but you know what I mean. More of a casual approach to gaming. But having a game that's exactly, that mirrors, like having a game lineup that mirrors your competition isn't a good look. And it's one of the reasons that Nintendo, despite their problems, still is revered for the dope stuff and for the dope content that they bring. People, Microsoft have been on this copying bull for way too long. And I really hope that this, this is just, you know, this is just some wild speculation which has gone way too far. Now, the deal that they have made, Debt 13, isn't exclusive. So games can still come to the PlayStation 4, but we just have to just look at a couple of things which we have seen. And the fact that Blood Bowl was a success definitely means that if there can be an exclusive game that is made for the platform, 
they'll probably get this one or one like this. You know what I mean? So anyway, let me know what you think about this matter. Would you like to see a Bloodborne S game to go with the Tomb Raider for their Uncharted S game to go with the Gran Turismo and Forza? Do you want to see more of an equal lineup? Let me know what you think. The shout outs are on the screen. Make sure you like, subscribe and share the video. That is the national drill. And yes, holler at your boy. Peace.